All right, let's go for this section back here. So for that, I'm going to use this piece here. And let's hit P to separate this again into its own object. And also let me grab this and this and just extrude it down a little bit so it's even with the bottom. And I want to see that little tiny blip there. OK, so now um, with this piece, I'm going to overbuild it. And what I mean by that is I'll just extend it all the way up to where it's supposed to be, like maybe up to that notch on the cylinder. And OK, so that's good. And what we're going to do now is cut away from this big, let's imagine this as like a big block of metal or something, and we're going to cut away from it with another Boolean cut. So same thing here. This doesn't have to be so big. So pick, double click that, control B, and live subtract again. And now we've got our cut going. So let's click on this cutter, control space, edge, and we need to do a little bit of modification of the cutter. So first of all, this, this uh, surface here is at an angle. So let me just drag a little box around that edge. I'm in edge mode here. Move that up and grab these both. You can also switch this to median point here up on top. And then we should be able to scale it like this. Okay. So once you got that, you can grab this edge just by dragging the box, move it over like this. And let me grab this face here and shift G. We'll just bring it. Let me see. I just want it to be a little bit closer. Sorry. So I'm just adjusting that to taste. And then this part is actually curved a little bit from the top view. So I need to add in an extra line here. To do that, we'll just go Control R and add, hover over this edge until you see the yellow line and add that in. And now let's grab this one and move it forwards a little bit like that. Pick all of these, B, and leave a little bit of sp I don't want to go all the way to the end. I want to leave some space like here, like that. Okay. And then you can grab this, B, S, and we can also grab this alt click on that edge on the top B S cool and um, that's good there's also this little section here so let me bring this down a little bit Now I need a new cube, so I'll go Shift A in object mode here. So I'm in object mode now. Shift A, mesh cube. Let's put this one into position. Um, I like to scale stuff in faces mode, not in object mode. Uh, which actually, there's a difference between the two. Um, if you want to see that, well, basically scaling stuff in object mode can give you weird issues like, let's say we scale this really flat like this in object mode. Now I want to do a bevel, but look what happens to our bevel. What's actually happening is that since this is scaled in object mode, the bevel is um, also taking into account that scale, which is sort of weird. So if I hit Control Shift V, it shows my scale here is 1, 4, and 0.2, and that's that's what's uh, if I set these back to 1 and 1, 
now my bevel looks normal, right? So that's that's the issue with uh, scaling in object mode. There's a bevel, and a lot of tools will get kind of messed up by doing that. Um, but anyway, that was a bit of a long way of saying, do not scale in object mode. <laughs> so undo that, and just put this over here. And um, you can also grab this, go shift X, or actually, hmm, maybe we can grab this whole thing here, alt Z on that face to delete half of it, and then shift X live mirror. And this will just be an automatically updated mirror. That way it'll also take the boolean on the other side. Well, it should, but it's not. So, hmm. I might have to click on this original object and move the, the cut after the mirror, and then grab this cutter, Shift X, and Live Mirror. So now what's happening is the order of things matters when we're when we're doing these modifiers. So. Let's hide the cut and hide the mirror. Actually, hide the mirror. So what's happening here is that there's a there's a hole here, and the hole is what's causing this cut to not work properly. So if we did the cut first, it would not take on this um, this hole because of the hole. So we have to do the mirror first, and the, what the mirror does is it closes up that hole, so we have a solid object now. And then we do the cut after that. So this cut happens um, afterwards. But what that means is that the cutter also needs a mirror. Because we'd only be cutting half of it here. So we need to mirror the cutter. And now we get the both sides. I hope that wasn't too confusing. But um, yeah, it's just a little... You got to pay attention to what order your modifiers are happening here. And it goes from top to bottom. So the top one happens first, and then the next one, and then the next one, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's see. What else can we do here? Let's see. There's also this part here. And it X to delete some of these. Shift space. So that's this one. And I might, it might be a good time to also do a mirror on this so I can get verts, select all these verts right here, X, but not the middle ones, I don't want the middle ones, and then X to delete, and then shift X and live mirror. Again, this is all live, so that's nice. Um, all right. And then we could also start to get rid of some of these. So alt click. The way you can select a loop of faces is you alt click in between two faces, right on that edge in between two faces. So for example, if I alt click right here, if I alt click right here, or if I alt click right here, I get different directions depending on where I click. So that's basically what I want. I, I definitely want to keep these two middle circles because um, these are like our, I guess, templates, and I don't want to lose that. So I can make these cylinders. So let's let's just extrude these down. Grab these these two faces B for bevel. You could even grab this shift space to extrude it a little bit. Alright, and then also we have some facets here. We can hit Z, Shade Smooth, to get rid of the facets. Okay, I think we've got some good progress here. Let me go Control-B, Toggle Cutters, just to turn those off. 
And also I'm getting some lighting issues here, so let me grab my light in object mode, light, control shift V, as in Victor, control shift V. And when you see these errors, you can try high bit depth. Sometimes that helps. Alright, so that's it. Let's save this one, and I'll see you in the next video.